and then let's talk about long term memory and i'm quickly brushing these topics because these are huge topics right you 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 have to go back explore these uh, topics yourself i'm just again opening the door for you okay um think about long term memory and well long term memory sucks long term memory is not very reliable i mean there are multiple researches uh, which has proven that long term memory usually is uh, not a reliable source to get the real data now um, it's a very simplified uh, way to depict long term memory so uh, think about explicit memory think about implicit memory and then uh, the, the explicit memory is about episodes so your experiences your events your stuff happened to your life your 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 you know relationship with your mother with your wife all that is explicit memory, episodic memory right you you remember episodes uh, and and then there is uh, semantics right uh, there is concepts and facts so sun you know it's it's warm in the daytime it's colder in night time so those concepts are also remembered in your head right um, uh, you know so, yeah so anyways so so uh, for, for example fire is usually you don't want to go into fire right so, so those those concepts uh, is also memory right and then you have implicit memory uh, which is procedural you know how do you operate a laptop how do you speak a language uh, how do you eat food um, all that is procedural uh, memory uh, and then uh, there is priming there is emotional uh, conditioning i so i've crossed bunch of these out i don't want to go in detail it's it's a good topic to understand and learn i would recommend feel free to go and explore these concepts we will talk about two we'll talk about episodic and procedural right um because episodic is usually associated with your product your service right so your customer will remember in the, in the long term memory this this customer will remember uh the episode of the interaction between this person and your service or the product okay so that has to be good okay um and then there are steps you know there, there are ways you do things with your app with your service which is kind of procedural uh, so how do you how do you make sure both of these are easy um uh, for your users right so, so how how do you how do you make your users remember uh the experience per se or how do you how do you make sure you make this person remember the steps okay so we can probably talk about that a little bit um but but before that uh, do you remember this this image i'm assuming you do uh we talked about it last time now this is a very interesting way a uh, fact about memories okay now remember uh if you if you go back to the previous slide which is this one here this one here right now uh, there is a sensory input now the sensory input if you pay attention to that can be converted into a sensory memory right and, and then the sensory memory if you pay enough attention to sensory memory it will then convert it into a short term memory and and this is and, and then you have encoding now interestingly encoding happens when you you pass that short term memory through emotional gates and it's it's really 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 important to understand that right so so whenever uh, a short term memory is converted into a long term memory it usually passes through a emotional gate i would i'm calling it emotional gate right so now let's come to this um uh, image right um so 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 we have this um cerebrum here right uh, cerebellum here uh, it's a, it's a pinkish thing displayed here right so now this area is usually the emotion center uh, for your brain and typically when uh, and and obviously this 
uh, you know cerebrum is an area where uh, you get inputs okay uh, your, your senses works on this on the on top now whenever there's a memory created um, there is there is a passage between uh, this top layer and this uh, bottom layer and while there is an interaction if there is a huge chunk of emotion involved uh, there is a very good chance that uh, a better encoding of the memory happens in your brain okay so so if there are more emotions it's it's better for the memory and this is how it works really so if you think about uh, your own episodes uh, of life okay uh, and, and go back to your past you will probably remember things which were very emotional to you i mean you would not remember you know what you have eaten the breakfast for i don't know uh, last friday or whatever but you might remember uh, you know the first time something happened to you the first time you got a salary or a letter uh, whatever join letter whatever so 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 whichever experience is associated with more emotions usually you remember that Okay. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter good or bad. Good or bad is again uh, a different aspect. But but you 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 would you would remember those uh, those episodes. Okay. Now, how do you then translate this to your product? Think about that for a second. Okay. Think about think about how do you translate this uh, this insight of Hey, I want to make sure people remember my product. Okay, that's a good news. Um, and I also know that people usually remember things which are well emotionally associated with it. Okay, good. So how do you use that? So so think about think about um, um, a travel site. Okay. or think about uh, cars think about an automobile company how do you make sure they remember their product uh, and and when they think about cars they think about that brand when they think about um, uh, a travel uh, plan they think about their site any any thoughts around how do you associate emotions with uh with that brand now obviously uh, you could you could plan an ad uh, whatever uh, which is fine but 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 think about this while using that application uh while interacting with that product how do you then associate emotions uh with your brand think about that and and that will that, that is a game changer so so remember when um, when you are using something uh, i remember this instance okay so so you know what the very early when um, google map came uh, in india um so i was i was using google maps okay and then uh, i was at office i think uh, and then it's i saw a message it popped up saying hey you, you you should leave now because you know at so and so time there will be more traffic uh, so if you have to reach at this time you should leave now so now that was wow okay so it remembers i had to reach home for whatever reason because it sort of captured stuff from my email or whatever right uh, and it understood i mean it's also sort of privacy breach uh, well that's a different game but uh it 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 knew that i had to reach home uh because of whatever reason i had to reach home and it also understood the traffic patterns and it gave me that notification that hey leave now okay and that was like oh wow okay so that was emotional okay so so think about how can you uh insert emotions into interactions and not ads i mean somebody would insert emotions in the ads you know there's a whole marketing team sitting for that 
and I, I'm sure they will figure this out. But how do you insert emotions during interactions uh, with your product? So that's a game changer. Yeah.